Hello, this is Clint Halstead, and I'm going to talk today about the configuration word on the PIC 16F84A <coughs> microprocessor in respect to the ping pong project that's in the book called Designing Embedded Systems with PIC Microcontrollers, Principles and Applications, second edition with Tim Wilmshurst. <coughs> so the goal for the for this project um, after chapter four was um, to build this circuit that's on the screen. Uh, build the hardware design of the electronic ping pong, uh, which is in the book. Make sure the power is good. Okay, download the code from the website. This is the link here. Create project in MPLAB X, which I had a, already already gave a, a tutorial for MPLAB X, so you should be able to follow on that previous tutorial on how to do that. Add the assembly code and header file to the project. Add code for the configuration word. Compile, download, and run on chip. Okay, so you connect the PIC kit 3, you have your MP Lab software connected to your PIC kit through the USB port, you build the hardware, and um, <coughs> everything should work. So some of the students had a problem with this, so I'm going to go over some of the most common problems uh, getting this circuit to work. <coughs> so of course step one was to build the hardware, so you have to make sure that you don't have any hardware issues. Um, you know, make sure that uh, everything's connected. You can use your digital multimeter to ohm everything out. Uh, put it on the continuity check. Make sure it beeps, uh, you know, on the resistor to this pin. So you can check everything from, from the pin, probe right on the pin to the resistor. Make, just make sure you have continuity, we call it. That means that you have a, connect, a good connection. So that's the first thing is to build the hardware. Number two, make sure your power is good. You know, the... Uh, once you put your batteries in or whatever power supply you have, then make sure you have uh, good power. Now, what I used on the uh, we use the uh, <coughs> MP Lab uh, development board, or is it's actually it's called the PicDem Lab development board DM sixteen three zero four five from micro from a microchip. So on the PIC DIM board, one thing I noticed is you, you could not power the board from the PIC kit. You had to power it from an external 9-volt uh, supply with positive tip. So you can get a universal power supply to, to power the board. And uh, if you don't do that, then I, we kept getting the uh, cannot detect target error. Okay, so once you get past the power issue, is you download the code from the website, which is here. The link is there. You know, also before before I move on, when you when you probe the power, just probe the power on DVD and VSS using a digital multimeter. <clears throat> then download the code, which is at this website, um, and then attach it to the uh, software. So here you you download the code and you add it to your source file here, uh, pingpong.asm, so that when you you know click the file, it should should come up. This information initially will not be there. We'll talk about that here in a minute. You have to add this additional information. So once you get the code downloaded from the website, you got the project created uh, with the code in it. You also need to add an assembly code and header file to the project. And we'll talk about that a little bit here. So before we do that, why do we need to have this header file? Well, remember we talked about um, oscillator mode. There's some settings inside the chip that need to be set before uh, the chip's going to work. One of the settings that needs to be set is the oscillator type. Remember we talked about these are the oscillator pins. Um, in this design, we were going to use the RC capacitor oscillator. And you can see that on the chip here. You can see the uh, on the oscillator pins, OS1, you see the resistor and the capacitor. It's a 10K and a 100 picofarads. That's going to give us 800 kilohertz nominal. So in order to tell the chip that that's the mode we want, we have to use the configuration word. Now the configuration word is just a stream of, of uh, zeros or ones. It's a 14-bit word long. Uh, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bits that give you the uh, code protection. If they're all ones, then code protection is disabled. So we want to disable code protection. But look at the, the last few bits are the oscillator. Notice that bits uh, F uh, bit zero and one is F OS zero F OS one. 
So we want RC oscillators. So we want those to be a one and a one. So that means we want to have um, the last two bits a one and a one. Now the next bit is watchdog timer. W W D T E. We want to disable the watchdog timer. So that means we need to have a zero here. So there's a zero. <coughs> Now we want the, the watchdog timer. You can run Wikipedia on watchdog timer. Go ahead and type in uh, watchdog timer and then go to Wikipedia. Watchdog timer is uh, if you're getting a situation where your code is hung up, you can set up, set up a watchdog timer to get you out of that code. So it's kind of like it creates an interrupt. It's a timer that creates an interrupt to allow you to get get out of a situation where your your uh, your microprocessor is hung up. So we don't want that feature in this case. <coughs> next thing we want to look at is uh, the next bit is the power up timer. Now in our case we want to just disable that. Of course you can enable it, it doesn't really hurt it, but in this case we just want to disable it. It doesn't really matter either way in this case I don't believe. But And then the, ne the next bit is we're just going to disable the code protection. We don't, we don't, we're, di we're in development mode so we don't really care anything about uh, the code protection bits. So the bits that we need to write to the configuration word are all zeros one zero one one, which is zero 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 B hex. Okay. So, how do we do that in assembly? Since this is an assembly project, well, one thing you can do is go go read this website. It'll give you a little bit more information about what exactly that is. Here's the website, um, but it kind of goes over the configuration word, uh, how it works and everything. So what I suggest is to go to the header file and look at the header file and also to read to read this website. <clears throat> but if you do, if you click on the header file, you'll see there's some information here and, and what you're going to really need to type into your code is the following lines here. Um, to get the configuration word. You want to do the include statement, the list statement, and the config and we'll show you what that looks like in the code. It, it looks looks like this. So we, we want to make sure to add the include file pick 16 f 84 aincluede Now to, to add that, what I found is uh, really it's best to add it up here and the way you do that is you, you say new uh, header file no, let's see, oh actually other yeah, and then you can just descend into the file and pick pick the pick whatever file you want. I think what actually what I did. Let's see what did I do. I think I did add. Let's see new or add ex oh add existing item. That's what I did. Add existing item. And then what you have to do is you have to browse to <coughs> C drive, and then you go to program files. Then you go to mic let's see microchip. Then you go to MP Lab X. Then you go to the MP ASM X. And then you you should have a bunch of these include files. So then you just type you go to the pick 16F 16F 84A. You add this file. It'll add it here. If you double click that file, really it just has a bunch of, of equate statements. Equate statement just means that it's going to set this text here equal to equate equal to this number. So the equate statement does that. It's a similar directive. Now you'll notice if you look at the, the header file, how is this thing working? Well, notice that it has all these, it's just assigning this text equal to this this number. That's all it's really doing and it tells you high speed oscillator, RC oscillator, LP, disable watchdog timer, and it's setting to these numbers. Let's look and see what is that actually doing here. <clears throat> um, I'm going to show you in my PowerPoint file what it's doing. So these are the statements. So look at, if you look at the config word you can see that it's just anding these together. It's taking this RC os which has a value of 3 FFFF and it's ending it with this watchdog timer off which is 3 FFFB and then power 
timer and then on is 3FF7 and then it's ending it with CP off. 3FFF. So if you end those four words together, uh, all you get is the original word that you wanted, which is this binary word or the same thing as 000B. So that's really all it's doing, it's creating this 000B. Um, so that's, that's what the include file does. So alternatively, um, if you wanted to, there's actually the other way to do it is just simply, I commented this out, but you could just say config and then say binary tick or uh, you know single quote and then all zeros one zero one one and then a single quote in and so that would do the same thing so that's that's effectively what you're doing all all this stuff here just implements this line here that that's green which I have commented out so if you wanted to you could just come up here and you know comment this line out and then have this line be your config word but they're just trying to make it a little bit easier for you to see uh, up here it's a little bit easier for you to see that the um, code protection is off the power up timer is on, watchdog timer is off, and RC oscillator is, on, uh, is uh, enabled. So that's all they're really doing. I wanted to make sure that everyone understood everything about the configuration word. If you don't have that set up right, then what are the errors you're going to get? Well, it may not run at all because you may, if you if you have this set to XT, for example, well, it's, you're telling the chip to use the internal oscillator when really you want uh, which you don't have an oscillator connected to the pins, you have an RC timer, so nothing will happen. So this has to be set uh, properly in order for this to work. Because if you go back up here to your oscillator, if, if you're telling it you want a crystal oscillator with the XT uh, option for the configuration word, but you have it set up for an RC oscillator, well, well nothing's going to work. So you have to make sure your configuration bits work. And so that was number six. Uh, add the code for the configura configuration word. Now the final step is just to compile, download, and run the run the chip. So the way you do that is just hit this compile button, build the project, and then you click the download uh, button, and it should run it. If everything is set up, if you got your configuration data set properly, you have your include statement, everything should work. And if your hardware is is solid, design well then uh, your everything should have worked. So I tested this out and it did work using everything that I've just said. So good luck with everything and uh, see you for the next lesson. Thanks.